Our top five this week looks at some of the world's different versions of wrestling. First up, the traditional Icelandic sport of glima. There are about 500 people who compete regularly in this ancient form of wrestling. No points are ever awarded, and when time runs out, a tie is called. A winner is declared when an opponent is thrown to the ground. Samo wrestling is an indigenous sport of Burkina Faso. Competitions are big occasions in the West African country's rural communities, and people will sacrifice work in the fields to see the fights. A person wins by forcing their opponent onto their back. Cornish wrestling has been practiced in the English county of Cornwall for several centuries. Wrestlers wear tough jackets, enabling them to get a better grip on their opponent. If the jacket slips over the head of a wrestler, then the action is stopped by the referee, who's known as a stickler. In many parts of Latin America, the sport of lucha libre enjoys huge popularity. High-flying wrestling moves and theatrical storylines have made it a great success. And in Bolivia, lucha libre is positively booming, thanks largely to the country's female wrestlers. And finally, the sport of Turkish oil wrestling, which dates back to the 14th century. Wrestlers cover their bodies in olive oil to make it almost impossible for their opponents to gain a grip during competition. The aim is to throw your opponent so that either their back, head or the whole of their front touches the ground.